So uh, we got topics. Right. I think it's only right that we kind of like get into one specific topic first. Yeah. A very specific topic. Okay. In fact, something that I didn't even have on the list of topics until last night. Mm. But there's no way. I, this Look, it's no way that we we we're not going to speak on this topic here being that it's some sort of connection when it come down to this topic when it come down to this podcast there's no way that we can't i will be i would look fake you know and and i know the audience that are watching the ones who are dedicated and committed to this podcast they always hear i know they're thinking the same thing when it come down to it. what are your thoughts on that situation paul and what i'm speaking on is um i told i I brought it up to the bro earlier. I don't know if you saw it, Emrachi. I let Big Don know about it too. Well, he saw it too, but uh, the other day, um, Milk74 went on No Jumper and interviewed with Adam22. Uh, uh, very, very, um, wasn't expecting it, you know? Um, but um, I got a couple of things to say in regards to that situation. Before I say what I got to say about it, um, I just want to know, everybody thoughts may be a little bit different. I mean, it is what it is. It's business. It, but but I just want to know, like, like let's be, we keep it real here, right? Right. And no matter what, and I just want anybody to know, no perspective that's here is coming from a, a, a negative, uh, mad about anything, defensive, a bad place. It's not coming from none of that. We just keep it real here. I say, if you're going to sit at this table, be real. Be your true, authentic self. So... None of it's no negative energy, but I want everyone to keep it real and share their thoughts. And and I and I say that because of of course we have milk here every month. And everybody know when it come down to us what it is when it come down to us and no jumper. Everybody oh. know. Know that. You know, uh, uh it's 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 something in the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so everybody know that. You know, um, and I understand too when it come down to this industry, it's chess. I get that too. But I want to know y'all true authentic thoughts about this situation. Somebody who frequently comes here and had a lot of issues when it came down to Adam 22 and O Jumper. Mm -hmm. Just went and collaborated with him. Mm -hmm. Someone who said he would never, ever, 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 ever go back on No Jumper again. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I just want to know y'all thoughts on that. You know, uh, I'll start with you, bro. What are your thoughts on it when you saw Milk on No Jumper? Yeah, I felt yeah, it was kind of corny. I ain't going to lie, Milk. You know what I'm saying? I was corny for that because, yeah, he did say, you know, he don't fuck with No Jumper. He ain't going back over there. And for him to basically put the cloud over the beef, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought if somebody had a problem with somebody, I ain't fucking with you at all. And that's how I see it. You know what I'm saying? Just me as a real person. If I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you at all. Fuck the cloud. You know, but I seen he chose the cloud over the beef. Uh, you know what I'm saying, and um, yeah, that's kind of weird, but you know, I see how it is. I mean, that's how it is. What you know, uh, you know, I, I guess that's a, a a white boy thing. No matter what, they think they're gonna come back. <laughs> they gonna come right back to each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I guess they they kind of work differently. You know, a little different. You know, than um, supposedly you know how it is with us. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, it's a little different with us, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was corny for Milk to do that. But, I mean, it's all good. That's the way he rocked. That's who he is as a person. And, hey, be be who you are then, bro. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it was kind of corny, though. Yeah, yeah. So I put it out there. Yep. I kept That's it real. Kept it real, bro. Yeah, you know, I, I feel what you're saying. I'm okay. keep it real for sure. Okay. Well, what about what about you, Quinn? I know you I'm, haven't been here in a while, but you do know. Yes. And I, you, you, you see what's going on all the time. Yes. So, so what are your thoughts about that? Well, you know, the old saying goes, there's no loyalty among thieves. Mm. And so. Ooh, um, I like that one. See, I gotta so, give you a, a bump. Hey, I like that one. Get it sexy. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> but you know, Adam is a culture vulture. Uh, you know, he he's he's a thief in his own way. His podcast, he takes from the black culture, the black community, and obviously, milk feel the same way. And so, you he got to do what he got to do to get that clout. And clout is what's selling right now. So he, hey, I mean. Well, in a way, it could be kind of smart business-wise for him, even though it's disloyal. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't know. It's up to him. It, it depends on how he feels about loyalty and stuff. But obviously, we know yeah. he's not a loyal person. So, hey. Yeah, yeah. I can't even be mad at him. Look, they switch sides every day. Yeah, People yeah. People is always switching sides for the right price, for the right look, the right clout. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yep. he That's probably nice. felt that way and was like, oh, let me just go over here and get this. You know, and then I'll come back over there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. hopefully he stays, he becomes a loyal person, but <laughs> it's obviously not in his genes right now. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He'll be back 
though. Yeah, yeah. You know they always oh, come be, back. Be back. Yeah, ain't it's like, always yeah, that, a run no, back that's what they forth. do. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, not about it's coming a, back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I know, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he going where they do anything for clout. Offset said it. Sure. Yeah, he did say it. He did say it. He did. Say it. <laughs> he did. And you know what's crazy? Of course. Well, and you know what's crazy too? They act like they best friends when they see each other again too, you know? Like, of course. Have of a good course. conversation and all that. Like nothing ever happened. It's yeah, like, yeah, what the fuck? Like, what's going on here? He just said, right. What the fuck? But yeah, it's weird, man. Before before I go into my thoughts, uh, what are your thoughts, Big Don? I want to hear because because and I Big Don? and I and I want to hear Big. So I originally let me let me explain why Big Don opinion is important too. Big Don is the one who originally got Milk connected to this podcast. Mm. You know, uh, so Big Don been here for basically almost every interview uh, that we've done with Milk. You know, so. Um, you know, and Big Don heard, every, you know, stuff that he said. I'm pretty sure he's watched some of his podcasts. So Big Don know a, a lot about this situation as well. So what are your thoughts on uh, Milk going on No Jumper, Big Don? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure he did it for the bag. I, mean, right. I hope there was a bag involved. Man, better have been. Because what came out of his mouth, you know, actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying, Milk? Preach. Your actions you know what I'm saying? Spoke way louder than the words that was coming out of your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> wow. Man, Big Don, hey, Big Don kept it real. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> me, 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 Big Don, I'm telling you this about Big Don. Not a man of many words, but the <laughs> words he used, boy! <laughs> Big Don! 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 Big Big Don! Big Don! Big Don! Big Don! When Big Don right. speak, he but, preach. Uh, yeah, facts, facts. So <laughs> th th this is what I say in regards to this milk situation. First and foremost, I always say this because I think it's important to understand this with me. I'm a businessman. So when it comes down to anything that milk is doing anywhere else, no matter how I feel about that person or that podcast or whatever, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's all business at the end of the day. Do what you got to do. You know, go where you got to go. It's no, it ain't, look, in business, there's no right. loyalty. Right. It's, it's, it's understanding. It's, it's stuff that we have to be on the same page about. Like if we was on the same page about him not ever going over there in, in, in regards to our business, I get it. But that wasn't never no business agreement that we ever had. So over here, when Milk come over here and you see me with Milk, it's all business. When you see me with somebody like Cowboy, that's family. That's different. That's family. Right. But when it comes down to me and milk, it's all business. So I have no hard feelings about the situation at all. So I want to put that out first and foremost when it comes down to milk going over on no jumper. I told him when he was here, do what you got to do. I laughed about it, but I said, do what you got to do, right? Yeah, yeah. But this is what I would say going into another direction with this situation. Milk definitely contradicted itself 100%. You know what I'm saying? It's his image. So he could do whatever he want to do with his image. Right. But he looked like a contradictive liar when he do go on a sit on, on a podcast like that that he been dissing for the past two three years. It looked kind of crazy, you know. But I understand this is the internet. People are gonna play mm -hmm. internet games, you know. It's 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 a game of chess on the internet. It ain't no loyalty on there. The internet is straight goofy. We one of the only <laughs> podcasts that keep it all the way real and one hundred. If you want to be real, that's why when it comes down to it. When people collab over here, it's, 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 it's business or it's real loyal friendships yeah. because we don't know how to play the game. I don't play the game when it comes down to uh, 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 giving people information, talking about topics, talking about our community. I'm going to keep it straight, real, and authentic. Mm -hmm. If I say I'm going to do something, that's what that's what I'm going to do. See, a lot of these other people, they play the game. You know, okay, I don't like this person, but I'm going to go in there for, for a game, for a financial gain, or mm -hmm. because this is going to help my image when it comes down to my podcast. It's going to bring more numbers, stuff like right. that. A lot of people play that. I don't play that. Right. You know, so so we're two totally different people, you know, but when it comes down to it, he look like he's a, 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 a liar, you know, but but that's when it comes to, I'm not, uh, I'm not. I, like I said, I do business with Milk. I'm not a fan of Milk. So that's up to Milk fans to decide where they want to go with that. Maybe they love it. Maybe they don't. That's up to them. You know, that's up to his fan base. Right. So outside of that, I would definitely also say he was very careless with his words. You know, uh, you came on here many times, many times. I probably got at least about a good 10 interviews that I did with Milk where he said, I will never go on no jumper. 
I got smoked for Adam for life. With Adam for life. Mm-hmm. Never. <laughs> I mean, rather you said that or not, you said that out your own mouth. I don't care what you do. Yeah. But you said that. I would never go on there. And, and obviously, he had a lot of issues with Adam that were very serious. He explained how serious those issues were. You know? You, I mean, you didn't have to say anything about it, but you came on here and you talked about how serious your issues were with Adam 22. You literally went to his podcast at one point in time, showed up uninvited, knocking on the door, trying to get him to come outside for some, you know, to take it to the next level. You literally did that. Yeah. So you had hard feelings when it came down to Adam 22 and no jumper. Mm-hmm. But when I watched some of that interview, this is, this is why I say, careless with your words when you watch that interview it looked like the dudes are best friends yeah when 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 when, when, um, poetic faco asked them about so what was the real beef and everything like that oh it wasn't really nothing man you know uh you know it wasn't really nothing oh wow it it, it, it was it's you know it's stupid stuff i wish i wouldn't have did that milk (laughs) milk hey and and look one day we we will sit at this table and we're gonna have this conversation milk know me i'm gonna keep like i said i'm gonna keep it authentic and real he know that so he know we're going to have a conversation about it. But I'm going to talk like this right now because you're not here. But I'm going to keep the same energy when you do come. But Milk, Milk, I was you know say. you look crazy up over there <laughs> saying that y'all don't really have no issues. Right. When you beefing with somebody for three years, three years, I know. Milk, you look crazy. I know that you. made no sense. That part had nothing to do with it's just business or anything. That made you look crazy. Yeah. Mm-mm. And, and, and I get it. You'll probably say, well, look at the numbers of that interview and everything like that. That's fine. Yeah. When it comes down to that's numbers and things like that, that's one thing. But looking crazy <laughs> and like a lion, contradictive, loose cannon mm-hmm. out here. Like, like, bro, you 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 got, I don't know if your audience is, is really cool with that. <laughs> and and they like, hey, it don't matter. That's how we all are, too. Exactly. I don't know. Exactly. But even to your audience, you should look crazy, Milk. Like, the, you could at least held it down with saying, nah, I do got issues, though, Adam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I came on here and I'm here, yeah. but I do got <laughs> issues, you know? Maybe, maybe I've grown. Maybe I got past them because we could get past things, yeah. right? But explain when it come down to it, nah, but I, 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 wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't feeling you, Adam. Right. Don't get on there and say, nah, I wasn't nothing that serious. Huh? Mm-hmm. Do we need to put a collage together of every <laughs> video our cup milk did where he was going ham on Adam, furious at Adam? Right. Do do we need to put a collage together or something? Like I don't know. I'm I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking about doing that. You know. What hey, hey, like I said. Hey, hey. No hard feelings. Yeah. Milk none personal. Right now, you know. I just gotta keep it real with our audience. <laughs> My eye on the mission of living your soul. This right here was my vision. Make it to the top, catch everyone's attention. The haters they can hate as long as they listen to the words that I say as my tongue keeps twisting. Heavyweight flow, you not in my division.